Hey guys, I'm making this video to review Mohammed's website. Um, so Mohammed is from Morocco and he actually started up his entire animated video agency without even really knowing anything. Like apparently he was just watching YouTube videos and like figured out how to do it. And he told me that last month he already sold like four videos for YouTube video editing for like $500 each. So I feel like that is really pretty impressive. Um, so I just wanted to take a look at his website. He actually has two websites. There's um, explainer videos and then also video editing. He put it on like two different websites, which is not totally necessary. I would say like anything that has to do with videos, I would just keep it all under like one brand because it can be a little bit confusing if you have like two different brands. However, I created two different brands when I wanted to do like social media and other digital marketing, just because it was a little bit unrelated to real good videos. So anyways, just taking a quick peek at his website, I really like how the brand style is. It's very like light and, you know, fun and clean. Um, the logo is quite cool. This part can even be like the icon, how it is up there. Um, as I have shared before, it's always good to have like a really simple and, um, memorable web, uh, what's it, what you call it? <laughs> Logo. Um, I mean, I guess also the website too, but explain Nova is kind of a cool play on words. Um, quite interesting. So I like how he did the branding and the colors in general. So looking for unbeatable video production quality at an unbelievable price. Um, I think that's pretty good. It will speak clearly to people who are looking for good quality, but, um, you know, a good deal. So I would say like the, the impression that I would get about your agency is that you're all about, um, you're all about just giving people a good deal. So that's kind of like the overall message I would get from here. And I like how you have these buttons and this graphic. So our creative process, um, I wouldn't just jump straight from the headline to the process. Um, I think it's good. I mean, I know with like marketing agencies, video agencies in general, they might not always even write so much stuff on the website, but it's good to, after this, um, speak a little bit about like your audience and like, what are their common problems? Um, what are they struggling with? And then transition to like how you're helping them to solve those problems and just pair it with like some sort of an image or a graphic that, uh, they can really resonate with. And then I would add the process later. So um, usually it's like the top is just to get their attention. Then you're kind of like making it feel like they're like you're talking to them exactly. And then you're kind of introducing your company a little bit about you, why you're unique, and then going into the process. That's how I would usually recommend it. Um, so together we increase your engagement with your audience. Uh, this, I would say it doesn't make like a lot of sense because it's like together we increase your engagement with your audience. I would make it more specific to video, um, because this could be like anything. It's kind of broad and uncertain <laughs> what that means. Again, you're talking about the unbeatable price. I think this is a bit repetitive. Uh, I think in terms of the process, you don't need to keep talking about the pricing, um, drive engagement with our videos proving to be four X more effective than text. This, I mean, this is just a lot of text. It's kind of unnecessary. So this is like the main headline. Then this is the sub headline. So I would put something like much more brief and speak just about the process because it's kind of confusing if you're talking about like all these other extra things that are not really related. So make it something more specific to the process, how your process is effective, how it's easy, how it's unique. Um, and then, yeah, so this is good. So 
briefing, crafting the groundwork. We outline your needs and delve into animation, style, mission, and duration standards. Yeah, so this, I would say, like, even you go into a little bit more of, like, coming up with a strategy so that they can get more results. Scripting, uh, definitely make sure to, like, check your spelling because this is not spelled right. Our team forges a script that breathes life into your business story campaign. And also, I was going to mention up here, no need to be, like, using a bunch of cheesy sales language. Like, look no further than explain all that. Because these days, I would say, like, in general, most people, they get kind of turned off from this, like, cheesy sales stuff. They mostly want to just feel like, in terms of, like, the process, they want to just feel like, oh, this is, like, a really inclusive and cool process that seems like it would work well. Uh, but you don't need to be, like, trying to sell yourself, like, captivating and provides it paves the way for your compelling explaining your video. Um, our enforcer that breathes life into your business. I mean, this is okay. It's not really very salesy. I was mostly talking about this part. And then the storyboarding um, guides us to the final creation. That's also like a little bit unsure. I would say like, you know, this the storyboard is like the map of graphics for your video. And also this is, I'm just saying this because I also have an animated video agency. Storyboarding and illustrations are the same thing, usually, unless you're just talking about the sketches. So I would say, like, this is kind of like maybe storyboard sketch part one, and then adding in the illustrations. That's like adding in the colors. But I usually just put it together as one. Um, voiceover. We infuse your video with resonant voices, dive into options, thinner. Yeah, so that's good. Animation. Um, do, do, do. Well, this you're talking about sound effects. <laughs> so I think the sound effects you should put into the sound design section. And the animation is just like adding movement to the images and stuff. Sound designers shape the video's auditory. And again, you're talking about the sound effects. You don't have to talk about the sound effects that much. Anyways, I'm just going over this so that people, like everyone can kind of understand, you know, how to make a website. So here you have the about us. As I said, I would just move it up. So it's like before the process would be probably coming last. By creating anime, we help your business gain global recognition and improve its workflow. Um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's a little bit unclear. Like I would, be, I would be like, what do you mean videos improve my workflow? <laughs> but if you could make it a little bit more clear as to like how, what that means, save your time again, check your spelling by addressing, yeah. Um, 24 seven support. I don't think you can say 24 seven support unless you're really going to be <laughs> checking your email 24 seven. Um, and yeah, saving you time. I, I don't know. I think you need to talk a bit more about like who you are as a person. This is not really about us. Talk a little bit more about who you are as a person, who you are as an agency. Um, it's cool that you added in some blogs um fellow business enthusiasts so anyways just always make sure you check your spacing and everything there um see more and then definitely just like remove this for now because i'm guessing those are not real and then here at the bottom i think this logo is a bit big at the bottom and then you have home about contact at the bottom but then at the top you have about portfolio packages. You should have all these pages also at the bottom because I would just go to the bottom and then be like, okay, what's the next page? But um, this is only having a few pages. So I have all the pages at the bottom. Um, I'll just kind of briefly go through this. So for example, about page. Boosting global through anime videos. 
Again, you don't have to talk about, you, you want to talk about your us, like the agency, who you are, um, how you're unique. I mean, this is all just like throwing in a bunch of random salesy statements, unleashing the power, choose us. I don't know what global recognition, that is not really related. Because just because someone makes a video doesn't mean they're gonna be like globally recognized. Um, so I don't know, I would say expertise in transforming ideas. Yeah, you can just literally just say this, like we are experts in transforming ideas into engaging visual narratives. That's all you need. Less is more, don't just like throw in a bunch of state taglines and statements um and then oh you already have testimonials well that's cool i would put the testimonials on the home page for sure so in general for the about us just talk about your mission your vision what are like your ideals and values that kind of thing um I would also put this on the home page. We've completed this many projects, but I think this is not, <laughs> I would probably hide this for now, unless you actually have done this many projects. There's a way where you can like hide things on the website. So the team, okay, it's cool. You have the team on here. So I would, I would even include a little bit more and make sure you capitalize like all of the first letters. I would just go in a little more, go in a little bit more detail about who you are, why you wanted to start your agency, why you're passionate about videos, um, because this is like not really telling much about you. So that's my feedback on the about page. Um, portfolio is pretty straightforward, actually. Um, the works we are proud of. Yeah, so this is cool to have all the videos like that. Um, packages. Yeah, so this is really up to you. I personally don't really put like video packages on the website, unless I'm just like trying to get people to just buy stuff directly from the website. Because if you are talking to someone on like LinkedIn, for example, and then, you know, maybe they just don't even respond to your message. They just look at your website and then they're like, oh, it's going to cost a thousand dollars. That is so expensive. I don't want to pay for that. And then they won't continue talking to you. But a lot of times, once you, if you don't have any of your pricing or anything on here, and then, you know, you're having a conversation with a prospect and they're like feeling like, oh, this person knows a lot. They're already kind of like, they're starting to really like you and kind of sell themselves on you. You show them some videos. They're like, oh, these are amazing. You tell them about how you do things differently. Um, and so then in that case, they're going to be like already kind of like having this yes mentality. Uh, you want to just say the price at the very end <laughs> once they've already kind of decided, yeah, I definitely want to work with them. And then the price is like the last thing. So I personally don't, I think this is totally not necessary to include all this stuff. I would just only share this with people after you talk to them. Um, and then FAQs. That's also good to include that there. So that's perfect. And then you have a blog, which is um, nice. Yeah. Again, just make sure like for headlines and stuff, make sure you capitalize all the first letters. Um, yeah, so I think this is all pretty good. Get in touch if you need help with a project. Um, I would just say get in touch. Maybe they don't know they need help. Um, maybe they're just interested. Connect with us for comprehensive project support and assistance. Yeah, again, you don't really need to write all this stuff. We are dedicated to providing. This is all just like a bit too salesy. You can just literally say like get in touch and that's it. 
and then um, you have your, you want to have email address, phone number, yeah, maybe like social media stuff, get a quote, okay, that's good. So anyways, great job on the website so far. I think it's definitely good. Schedule a call and then it goes to Calendly. That's perfect. Um, again, just make sure you kind of like write everything with like capital letters and spacings, uh, spacing. But yeah, overall, I think it was really good. The only other thing I was going to look at is like, yeah, you have your um, privacy policy. Okay. That's perfect. So you have all these things down here. Um, so that's perfect. All right. Well, I hope this video was helpful for, um, you Mohammed, since it's your website and anyone else who's watching it, uh, I'll try and in the future, give some more feedback and information on just like how to do an effective, like highly converting website. Uh, because a lot of times I just will have a, like a very, small, tiny little conversation with someone on LinkedIn. And then they will just like check out my website. And then they basically just like already are like sold on wanting to work with me. They'll like have a call. They will just talk to me for five minutes and then they're like, okay, let's do it. Or even we get on the call and they're like, okay, I already watched your videos and I really liked them a lot and um, was checking out your website. It was awesome. So I'm already like pretty much interested. The main thing is like, Whoever you're talking to, no matter what, they're all going to be like going back to your website, going to look at your website first to just make sure that you're a credible person, that you have like a good track record, that you have a lot of good work. And then, you know, that will be their deciding factor, whether they want to like talk to you or not. So definitely make sure to do the best website that you possibly can do. Overall, I think this is all designed quite well. Um, so yeah, let me know, comment below or anything if you have any questions about like websites in general. And again, I'll try and go over it a bit more um, in future trainings. So thanks for watching.